Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another game from Tata Steel Chess uh, Tournament 2020 and we have round 6 and today I would like to cover um, the best game of that round and as white is playing Daniel Dubov and his ranking is 2683 he's a grandmaster from uh, Russia and uh, I cover one of the games lost by um, Dubov before uh, because he was uh, at that time only the background for the winner but this time uh, the game is uh, much more um, interesting um, and uh, if you are interested in the last game check the link uh, over there click that and then you can watch that um, other video as well and as a black we have a Vladislav Artemiev so um, the game of Vladislav I covered just yesterday and also you can click over there and um, just uh, if you are interested to see how Artemiev um, d managed to defend against uh, attack of Jan Krzysztof Duda um, then of course uh, go and watch that um, video uh, Artemiev uh, play as black and his ranking is 2731 points uh, so let's jump on the board and see what happened in the game we have e4 by Dubov and c6 by Artemiev and here important information that Artemiev already play Karokan defense in this tournament against Alireza Firuja and Alireza is um, uh, the best player of um, from Iran and he's an Iranian prodigy uh, really great last season and really great um, this tournament he has a uh, uh, incredible score uh, he's on lead uh, in this tournament so um, he managed to win with Artemiev in Karokan defense uh, so Dubov definitely checked that game and he played d4 which is of course main line we have d5 and Artemiev didn't try to you know uh, manage how to uh, invent the, the wheel again he played e5 the, say, the same line what Alireza played so this is advanced variation and we have bishop on f5 so standard move uh, bringing the light square bishop out of this pawn structure which you know creates some kind of uh, fortress in the future we have h4 so uh, tal variation on the board and h5 approach by Artemiev now we have uh, c4 e6 pretty standard knight c3 and now um, Artemiev deviates from the uh, from the game from Alireza and um, and he play bishop on e7 before he play uh, knight on e7 uh, with the plan of uh, moving the uh, knight on f5 because uh, in this type of structures um, this f5 uh, square is the best square for the knight but bishop e7 in, in that game attacking twice the h4 pawn and we have c takes on d5 by dubov c takes on d5 and bishop on d3 so um if you remember the game uh anand ag against uh, jeffrey um Xiong, uh, that was the French defense, but the structure was uh, pretty similar and Xiong tried to exchange this light square bishop for uh, the good light square bishop uh, of white and he had to go uh, b6, move the bishop on um, a6, then move the knight on a6 and move the knight back and then bring him to the game, so that was like five moves, uh, but in this position b on d three uh, is played and after queen on d3 everything is achieved so it seems like Karo Khan is um, uh, solving the main of the problems of uh, French defense uh, at least in this case uh, it can be shown like uh, really how, how it works um, you know practically and here black would have the time to take on h4 but is it good for black let's see uh, so a bishop would take on h4 but then queen comes on b5 with check and double attack on the b7 pawn so that's the exchange of the pawns 
and not really in favor of uh, black because uh, now queen can't move on d7 because uh, white would just take the bishop so uh, knight d7 queen b7 so take the knight um, bishop back to um, e7 and now let's see the situation uh, first of all, uh, black usually in French or, of Karo Khan has the situation like um, they have counterplay on the on the queen side, uh, but what black can find on the queen side if it's uh, you know occupied by white uh, queen and uh, really easy play for for the white. So uh, that's not the case, and also. Um, this rook is, you know, uh, on the semi-open file, so um, black king actually would be in the big troubles. Um, that, that's why uh, taking the pawn on h4 is um, not an option for on the professional player. Knight c6 was played instead, of course, and knight f3. This time protecting um, because there is no queen on b5 check um, option for uh, white. We have knight on h6, so bringing the knight to um, f5, very powerful square for, for black and uh, it's always a um, good outpost for um, the knight. Uh, but Dubov now just take that knight and uh, didn't give a chance uh, to RTMF to actually uh, develop that knight. We have um, rook on h6 and we have rook on c1 getting to the open c file. King f8, uh, we have g3 and here in this situation uh, we have g6 and look at that position if you remember again uh, i'm saying that if you remember anand and shong game that the the situation is a uh, pretty pretty similar uh, so white can uh, prepare some attack maybe on the uh, on the king side uh, in similar fashion uh, the only difference is that there is no uh, white pawn on c3, so uh, the pawn can't be uh, moved on the, uh, c4 and attack the, um, d5, so uh, that's the difference. So white has to find uh, another solution for that and get um, attack on c4 uh, some different way. Uh, we have uh, castle by Dubov and king g7, kind of artificial castle by Artemiev. Knight on a4, so uh, planning to move the knight on active square c5. And now we have rook on h8, so um, definitely this rook was a um, very bad piece here. So it has to be moved somewhere on probably c file. And here we have knight on c5. And, and here is the decision of Artemiev, which uh, probably cost him a game. Uh, or at least make the game uh, very, very difficult. Because as you see, uh, black has a problems with the uh, dark squares. Uh, they are very weak here. And all, all of these weaknesses can be uh, easily exploited, for example, by the queen, but also the, the knight could uh, attack here, uh, bringing the, the queen here. So this bishop is very important there. Uh, but somehow Artemiev decided to exchange um, uh, this knight uh, by this bishop. Um, other solution for him could be probably queen on b6 with the plan uh, of bringing the, the the rooks on c file and just and just playing here and whenever white would try to play on g5 then maybe exchange here uh, and probably that would be um, easier for um, black to achieve uh, something because this knight uh, couldn't just you know go and like, explore i mean it could but it would take him so much time to get to uh, g5 from this um, uh, queen side uh, but as i said uh, artemiev just took this um, uh, this knight and rook takes on c5 as well we have queen d7 so connecting the rooks and rook f on c1 so dubov already 
um, is the king on the on the C file, on open C file, very important, the most important file uh, during that game. We have rook h on c8, and here we have queen on c3. And now this is a like quite powerful battery. Look at this. This battery is just just awesome let's make uh, one more color here to 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 just see these are triple battery uh, you know uh, on the c uh, file um, and uh, as i told you uh, c3 pawn and c4 moves uh, not needed at this moment because um, this powerful battery um, just uh, you know paralyze the the black position uh, almost entirely and um, what black actually can play here it looks like uh the position is very unpleasant but look like knight on e7 would be the the answer not really great move but there is um, probably nothing better rook c7 would be played um, definitely and after rook c7 and queen c7 black could open uh, could answer with uh, rook on d8 and now this position is quite consolidated and uh, after for example b4 and knight c6 would be played uh, enforcing exchanging the the queens so queens would be exchanged b5 knight e7 and then knight can go for you know the paradise uh, square on f5 and f5 it's so good that you know it it's keeping the pressure on d4 um very good square for for this um, knight uh, then black would just have to find a way um to to fi find some counterplay maybe maybe bringing the sorry about that bringing the king to the uh, d file and uh, rook takes rook on c file um you know exchanging the rooks or um, getting the control on c file and uh, black probably could uh, handle that game but instead of that uh, a5 was played uh, a5 um the idea was to prevent b4 because b4 definitely was coming and uh, that would be uh, much more difficult for black because uh, white would have advanced pawn on uh, b5 so uh, but probably it would be um, with the similar fashion we have a3 so preparing still um, this b4 and then we have a4 so uh, locking um, b pawn uh, at this moment and here Dubov thought for some time what, uh, what's his um, plan, what he want to play here. And he came with knight on e1. And I just guess, I'm not sure, but I just guess it could be waiting mood, but it also could be move uh, like um, with plan of playing d3, uh, b4 and attacking on uh, c6. Um, but is that possible what would happen if this plan is executed so queen e7 and let's see what would happen uh, dubov didn't play that move uh, but knight d3 queen d7 waiting and uh, knight b4 and now knight on e7 so very similar situation but now rook on c7 would come with uh, queen on c7 exchanging the queens uh, bringing the rook on um, c7 and now knight on f5 again this is the really great um, uh, outpost for the knight but look the look what's the difference uh, now white has to decide so one option is to defend actually d4 and this knight would be very very passive for probably uh, quite long or if want to play more actively um, then white would have to exchange this pawn for this pawn and actually black would have the pass pawn and position would be quite sharp probably drawish but a lot of uh, gameplay uh, and uh, so that's definitely uh, not the good plan for Dubov so he decided to go back with knight to f three we have queen d7 so another waiting move and king g2 uh, bringing the 
the king closer uh, waiting move but improving also the position and now we have rook on c7 so uh, bringing defender to f7 uh, because f7 can become the target uh, relatively easy uh, for example knight can attack from g5 queen could come on f4 the rook could come on f3 and that would be disaster actually for for black so black decide to play some counter um, play counter defense on c7 we have queen on c2 uh, so relocating the queen and now we have queen on d8 uh, queen on d8 is probably waiting move uh, maybe it would have some uh, approach for h8 and uh, maybe supporting attacks on this um, on this king side because the attack will definitely come uh, g4 is coming in the future uh, knight on g5 is coming um, that's gonna be hot here so uh, better probably rtmf told that is uh, better to bring the the queen on uh, to be ready there uh, we have queen on d1 so moving from the c file already we have rook on d7 so black also uh, giving up the open c file uh, but at least uh, the the knight could be moved uh, somewhere and you know maybe improve the position maybe even could uh, come to knight to to f5 we have knight on g5 right now and here uh, what would happen if knight e7 is played so um, this plan uh, probably is too late already um, because after g4 hg4 and queen on g4 uh, knight f5 uh, h5 would be played and uh, black position would be crushed uh, really really nothing to find here uh, queen h5 uh, h6 here attack very strong attacks here uh, not not sure what to play rook h1 then would come and uh, and yeah that, that, that that's all yeah that's uh, just totally losing so uh, knight e7 in this position would not be uh, correct but probably queen b6 would be the last chance for rtmf to have some drawing chances uh, for example queen f3 so bringing the uh, queen to attack king uh, g8 so not giving the opportunity to come um, on f6 with uh, check uh, rook from uh, first rank to the c2 then um, you know this attack on b2 uh, is not possible so um, the b pawn is um, defended a rook a5 uh, and exchanging the rooks on a5 uh, g4 now the same attack would be handled uh, and this way queen g4 and now queen b5 and probably uh, now black is still in the very bad position white definitely stand better uh, but black would have some uh, counterplay here for example uh, they could attack the the pawn on d4 and um, and also after this move would uh, go to f5 and trying to exchange the queens and bringing some defender uh, probably that was the the last chance uh, however rook a6 was played and here we have g4 by dubov queen h8 so bringing the defender uh, because it's starting to uh, being hot here if i can say that queen f3 uh, so uh, creating multiple attacks uh, first the pressure is on uh, h5 but also the pressure is on uh, f6 and also the pressure is on f7 so uh, it's very difficult for black to defend all the spots and f and sometimes you know some tactics are also uh, possible and here black should play probably rook on a8 but um, but actually after uh, moving the rook from fifth rank to um, to the third rank 
and that would be very difficult from uh, to to do something about this attack and uh, very powerful attack um, very difficult to defend. Um, so uh, Artemiev actually know that Dubov is uh, excellent in attacking. Um, he's very, you know, um, the, the the player who who has a lot of tactics in his mind and uh, a very experienced in in attacks. So he didn't want to wait for execution. Uh, so he in this position play rook on b6 so trying to uh, make some attacking uh, opportunities maybe on the uh, third rank uh, to the queen but also uh, maybe trying to block this rook of coming but uh, rook could be just exchanged so it didn't it wouldn't change too much uh, however there are also the opportunities to take on d4 and try to complicate somehow the game maybe not now because of the uh, rooks on the eight ranks but maybe uh, later after the rooks are exchanged who knows that's the that's the 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 big mark question um what uh, is what was in artemiev mind but uh, this actually let uh, Dubov uh, to have an opportunity to find <coughs> very brilliant tactics. So uh, feel free to uh, pause the video and find the absolutely winning move for Daniel Dubov while I enjoy my cup of tea. So Dubov uh, move was G take on H5 uh, and actually that was not the best move in that position. Um, interestingly, uh, Rook on A5 was considered to be the best. And now, of course, if Knight takes on E5, then is uh, Queen F6 first, King G8. And now rook can go on the 8th rank with check, rook d8 and rook on d8 check mate. So uh, pretty impressive because the knight covers the h7 and uh, g7 is covered by the queen. Uh, so uh, pretty impressive. Uh, but of course the uh, rook don't need to be taken. Queen d8 can be played also. And then would, we would have rook on a4. And after rook on a4, uh, still we have a um, couple of possibilities for a black, but h on g4 uh, gonna be met with queen on g4. And after knight e7, let's say, bringing the knight to uh, favorite uh, f5 square, h5 would be played queen e8, and rook on h1 and that's gonna be just um, devastating and everything almost everything is winning for for white so uh, very strong attack and also uh, rook on b2 uh, trying to you know find some attacking chances also would not work uh, because g um, pawn can take on h5 and i uh, and after rook d2 trying to create some attacking chances uh, rook a8 would be played so watch how brilliant move that's really really fancy and can you see why this is a great move queen controls the key square on f6 uh, but there is not much to to play in this position so a queen on a8 and then queen f6 uh, with check king f8 h6 so the mate is coming and nothing can be done queen d8 trying to exchange uh, but actually queen g7 uh, king e8 queen g8 queen e7 and checkmate on f7 so that would be a pretty impressive way of uh, winning the game uh, yeah so rook a5 uh, was the move we were looking for so uh, if you found that move congratulations you are a much better tactician than um, daniel dubov uh, however daniel dubov uh, move is also uh, quite strong g takes on h5 
uh, and last chance not for winning but prolong the you know the lost game would be g takes on h5 um, and this move would be met with the same uh, of course approach with the, all the same um, tactics but now queen h6 would be played so actually queen can defend uh, f6 square so white would just have to play rook a4 and just try to grind the the way to the victory which of course um it's not difficult now but uh it's still uh, quite a lot of um of of playing here uh, but instead uh, queen takes on h5 um by artemiev and of course queen f6 because f6 is not controlled now by any piece uh, of black so this is gonna be king g8 rook a5 and now everything works very well queen g4 that's what we had in the game king f1 and um, and there is nothing here actually if rook on a6 that's the only probably blocking move rook a6 and uh, after taking uh, rook on h6 uh, black losing the knight uh, on c6 so that's not definitely um, not the way uh, black would try to have some perpetual but uh, but it doesn't really work because uh, queen d1 king g2 uh, queen g4 with check king h2 queen h4 with check knight h3 so blocking the check and and now black doesn't have any any useful check so uh would have to just exchange the the queens and of course with the uh, extra piece and uh, that's easy win for white so that's why knight on d8 was played and after rook a8 uh actually uh, Vladimir Artemiev just resigned and he resigned because he actually can't defend this double attack uh, whatever he play queen f5 trying to exchange then of course uh, rook takes on um, d8 and after exchanging uh, king g7 would be played uh, rook c8 and there is nothing to do against this uh, checkmate on h8 of course queen d3 uh, king g1 it prolongs for for a bit but after moving to h2 there is nothing more to do and uh, you know checkmate is coming um, in just next move so f6 and um, that's a checkmate of course uh, everything is protected here so yeah that's why in this position uh, rook a8 um, Vladislav Artemiev just resigned so yeah I hope you like that video if yes just push the like button and uh, if don't like just push uh, unlike and, and definitely leave some comments i would like to hear from you and thanks for watching and see you in the next one